When's the right time to start? Well, we know the obvious answer is right away, but that's not really the issue. The issue, partly, actually, I've been thinking about this, partly the reason is perfectionism. We know that there's no such thing as a perfect relationship, a perfect time to start, the perfect circumstances, you know, the perfect method, the perfect route to your success. Perfectionism is part of it. But do you know what? I reckon, and I've actually started going on these fantastic morning walks without my phone, no technology, just walking along with my keys and letting all of the thoughts and feelings kind of percolate up. Um, and there's some real insights. And I actually think that when people kind of set about on starting something really exciting that will actually do them a lot of benefit, I think what happens is people go into a bit of a regret kind of mode where they think, oh my God, you know, if only I'd started this five years ago, if only I hadn't done that or I'd done that differently. And they go into a spiral of despair. And, and I actually think that this stops more people than you'd realise. Because I've, I've never been a regretful person, but I'll tell you what I have done is when there's something high stakes that's a really exciting thing to do, I've completely overwhelmed myself by trying to do a million things at once and learning to prioritise is a really, really important thing. But fear holds people back, we all know this. But I actually think that fear is just another word for a really, really low opinion of yourself. We're so capable as human beings. You know, I'm, I'm sat in these grounds and okay, this, all of this has emerged over centuries, but I'll tell you one thing that all of the people who lived in this beautiful building all had in mind. Well, they all had a legacy in mind. They all had something that they were all in a united way, were all working towards. And even if, even if one particular duke, one particular family, you know, lived here, one generation lived here, they all had the good, they all had the good in mind. They wanted to perpetuate what they were building. And I think that when we do that for ourselves in the modern world, we get this sort of sense that we want everything immediately. But we also know that by it being high stakes, that it's something that you're going to have to devote a lot of time to. And I know for my part, and this is big, I know that I have wanted everything <laughs> to happen all at once, immediately, if not sooner. And I've completely blown my brains at certain stages of my life. But do you know what? When people go into the regret spiral, what they forget is how capable they are, but they also get into an enormous hurry, a panic, a blind panic, and they create stress in their life. And I think we can all admit that we've all done this from time to time. But do you know what? I don't think it's ever too late to actually really prove to yourself who you can be. So obviously the right time to start is now because you don't want to waste time, but look at everything in the past and understand this, my friends, that whatever you've been through, you needed to go through in order to learn the lessons and to acquire the wisdom that you have now, that whenever you choose, immediately, if not sooner, immediately, you can actually make the decision to start right now and get everything done that you really, really want to. You have it in you, but you need to believe in yourself.